In today's video, I will teach you how to remove watermarks from images using GIMP. Let's get started. Removing watermarks from images is generally not ethical and may violate copyright or intellectual property laws. Watermarks are often added intentionally to protect the creator's work and should be respected. If you have a permission to use the image without the watermark, it's best to obtain the image legally or contact the copyright owner. However, if you're dealing with your own images and needs to edit them or modify them, then you can follow these steps to remove the watermark from your image. First, launch GIMP and open the image containing the watermark. Now. There are three ways to go about removing watermarks from your image. The first one is by simply cropping the image. Watermarks are commonly placed in the corners of the images so as not to interfere with the subject and the rest of the image. So take a good look at the image that you're working on and determine if cropping will be the most effective method to remove the watermark from your image. And if you're lucky enough, cropping will solve your problem. So go to the toolbar and select the Crop tool or simply press the shortcut key Shift-C to quickly switch to the Crop tool. Now, click and drag the cropping handles to define the crop area and make sure to align the edges to crop out the watermark while making sure that the rest of the image is still intact. Once you're satisfied, you can now press Enter. The second way is by using the Healing tool. To do this, go to the toolbar and select the Healing tool or simply press H on your keyboard to quickly switch tools. Now, select the image layer on the Layers panel, right-click it, and duplicate the layer, or simply press shift Control d on your keyboard. With the duplicated layer selected, change the brush style of the healing tool and adjust each parameter to your preference. And once you're ready to use the healing tool, press and hold the Control key on your keyboard and select the source of your choice. This source would be laid over the watermark to cover it up, so make sure to grab a source that is similar to the background of your watermark. Once you're done selecting the source, you can now let go of the control key and go over the watermark. Repeat the same steps until you're satisfied. The third way is pretty similar to the healing tool, but this one is more direct to the point. Go to the toolbar and select the clone tool or simply press C on your keyboard to quickly switch to the clone tool. Now, duplicate the layer once again and just like the healing tool, select your source by pressing and holding the control key on your keyboard, then go over the watermark with this tool. The healing tool helps heal images irregularities while the clone tool selectively copies from an image or patterns. Both have similar mechanisms, but you can use them interchangeably to achieve the alteration that you're looking for. And you're done. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.